Isn't that about the cutest thing you ever did see? A fully grown swan having a snooze while floating about on the canal. Baby Moran. Oh, a couple of baby Morans, them ducks, are going to go after him. Tango. Tango. Oi. When I said let's go for a walk, I meant more than a couple of yards past the boat. Come on. Oi. Come on. Is that it? Are you done? You made it exactly <laughs> 10 feet. Come on then. <laughs> so for today's journey, we're only going a mile or so to find a better mooring spot nearer to the car. Because it was a 40 minute walk last night. Not great. Anyway, so we're going to head that way. Debbie's got work tonight and tomorrow. So sort of split up the holiday a bit. Um, and I'm going to go and do a few bits and bobs myself, get some work done. And then we're back Thursday and we'll do Friday, Saturday, a bit of cruising. Sunday we'll come back towards here because I've got work on the Tuesday. So yeah, Sunday, Monday we'll, we'll move back here. Well, not here, but you know, this area. We'll see how far we get here. Right, let's crack on. We did walk down here last night, it was a bit muddy, the towpath, we've had a bit of rain, summer once again has let us down really. Well, coming up is our first bridge on the Trent and Mersey, from, coming from the Bridgewater Canal. Oh that's where you don't know, see on the Leeds Liverpool so often. Stop planks. Or on the Lanky for that matter. They'd have been helpful with that reach, wouldn't they? After the Bridgewater Canal being so straight like a motorway, it's quite nice to have some corners. Oh, well, it does catch a few people out. And after saying all that, I nearly put us in the bushes. <laughs> I'll have to concentrate a bit more. Oh, I think this is the best spot in the world to moor up. It's a bit of a blind corner. And all these bulrushes, reeds, whatever they are, just taking over half the canal, so. Someone came along, we'd have a bit of a struggle. little spot to moor here with a cracking view well on a day like today you couldn't have a better spot stuck us in bushes before well I did one day <laughs> I was putting phone down and then I looked up and oh Better reverse. Another cracking mooring spot here with lovely views. Well, this bit is anyway. The nature spoils it all by growing too tall. Look at that, that's bonny. And there's arm coal. Just what you want. I think coming up is uh, Black Prince, Narrowboats. Here we are, if you're looking for a getaway, Black Prince boats here, just by bridge 20, is it 210 or 209? I think it's 209 this bridge. Send a few of them heading towards the Bridgewater Canal past us. Just on the other side of all them trees and bushes and things is um, Acton Bridge. We'll not see that from here though. Just over there, I don't know if you can 
see it, I'm stretching really high, that's Acton Bridge. Looking for a good mooring spot. This one's pretty good, you've got Armco, concrete siding, wide towpath. And there's a little bit of space there that's not too high, but in other words, most of it is a little bit shaded for solar. But it's a good spot. This one's a proper good spot. Plenty of fresh air, not too high in the hedges. Good for solar and good long length. The only problem is it's on a bend. So I'll get the what three words in a minute. Three words for the place we've just been is. Oh no, ones, hang on. Questions, ruling, fragment. Quite a good little mooring spot here. It's a bit shaded by the trees. Well, you've got a lovely little picnic area you could have your dinner at. Yeah. Very nice. What three words commended darkest websites? Not entirely sure what aqueduct this is. It's an aqueduct, though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a big and look at that big buttresses there that hold the canal because you can see it's just bowing ever so slightly big old thing that What's the other side there man down I think foxes have that okay what three words generated oils blanket he said I think oh, generated <laughs> yeah. oil Generated oils blanket. And again, a little bit over. Yeah, look. Yeah, the towpath's muddy. The hedge is quite overgrown. But there's a lovely bridge just nearby. A little bit parking down there. On the other side there's a bit of a curve. So there might be some a little further around that corner. Heading towards Salt of Fifth Tunnel. Nice spot. Salt of Fifth Tunnel. There we go. You've got 20 minutes to get in there. There's a boat coming out now. Cycle track. It's not a cycle track. Over the horse track. Over Saltifer Tunnel. So I think this is the summit now. We're pretty much up the top. Over the tunnel. So the descent from the other side of the salt of a tunnel, so this should take us um, to the other side of the, <laughs> the tunnel, <laughs> yeah, wittering on, it was a gate. Kissing gates bust, but oh, never mind. We'll kiss anyway, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite steep on the way down. 
and it was yeah, quite steep going up. No, <laughs> not the best footwear for a walk on the towpath. But there we are. Here we are. I think this is the other side of the tunnel. No, it can't be. Surely not. Here we are. It's a little bit muddy. This is the other side of the tunnel. I remember waiting over there. We did, didn't we? Yeah. This is, is this not the one that um, that woman was quite... Yes, yeah, she was swearing a lot. <laughs> Because everybody, no, was it this one? It yes, was. Yes, it was this one. No, it was the one before. Was it? Yeah, because she was going mad and then we came through this one because they pulled up further back. Yes, it's been three years since we've been here. Yeah. Would you like to keep going a bit longer, love? I can do, if you want. Really good mooring here. A bit over, plenty of it, but a little bit. Shaded in this part. But it looks like there's parking. Don't know whether you have to come down here or not. In the car. But there is a parking spot. Just over there. Which is probably the best of the moorings to be honest. Because there's less shade for solar. Oh uh, yeah. So it's not so far, it's just over that hill. You want to see if there's a pub there? Ooh. Shall we? You want to see if there's a pub there? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. I wonder when we go through them drippy tunnels and you see them little shafts of light and a load of water coming down. That is what you're looking at. A ventilation shaft. So, there we go. Are you wanting to look on, them, on your map to see if there's a pub? Oh, yeah, I think there is here, but we'll see, eh? At the summit. Ooh, nice old house. There's another one. There's another one of Barnton Tunnels ventilation shafts. Yeah, it goes right through there. There's trees over that side. But there's a good mooring spot there and parking. So path is stoned. This is the 48 hour more.